Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how to make our character blink by itself and also have this kind of random look point and also like eyes shaking without any keyframe. It's really like this character come to alive. So it's all driven by geometry now. Before we dive into that, let's talk about a very important concept and be able to achieve this. How do we use geometry node to control some object that don't have vertex? Because geometry node is cannot directly control the transform of an object. So here we have a camera, echo sphere, and a skeleton. First, let's take a look at sphere. If we give a geometry node and we try to transform that, when we transform this Actually, we are not making the value of the transform change. We are actually only transform all the vertex. It's kind of like a, the delusion that we transform. So now if we wanted to make the transform of a camera, that would be a problem because this camera doesn't even have a vertex. To be able to achieve this, that we have to use the power of the object constraint. So let's take a look at that. We make a plan and we merge all the vertex into one single vertex. So merge at the center. So now we got like a, this one point. Let's make a vertex group and uh, just name this to be maybe point. Assign this point to this group. So when we select, okay, it's there. And then now we can use this point. Let's create a geometry node. We use set position now. So now we try to like set this. You can see there the vertex. There's like a one vertex is moving. Use that to offset the camera. So now if we go to the camera and make a um, object constraint, copy location, and that's pick that point. If we just do that without using this vertex group, let's try to offset this point. The camera is actually not following the vertex, it's following the, the transform of this object. That we have to use vertex group to find this point. Okay, and now if we move this, you can see the camera is actually moving. So that's how I did. For the last video, the camera assistance, I using this trick to control the camera and uh, I give uh, like a That's how you can control the camera by using geometry nodes. So apply this logic, we can use this to control our skeleton. If we wanted to control this bone and inside of Postmo, there is bone constraint, not the object constraint, but the bone constraint. So we particularly want to constrain this bone. So we can copy location again and pick this and like that. So now this bone is come to this place. So and maybe this one. Now you, see. you see this object, this bone is actually moving by the geometry node. This is the uh, like a look point bone. So if we apply this to the eyelet bone and we make a frequency for up and down. So that is how you make a character blinking systems. And uh, I make these tools available on Patreon and my Gumroad that you can download. And now I'm going to show how to you use this systems and uh, you can see how I achieve this. So after you download this, you just drag this into your scene like before, just like uh, drag it out for it to be local and we can delete this area hierarchy. And you will see there is like a, I'm over here. So it is like a, just a pointer to show you okay so it's over here you can hide that so i have written down the way to use it first we set that the blinking so the first step is align this object with one of your eyelet bone so if you're using like a human generator we know the eyelet bone should be like this one right so that's align this and put over here Somewhere near here, just the Z have to be the align with this. Okay, and um, the second step is 
said that headphone as the parent of this object. So we select this and we select this uh, character's bone and go to the post mode and we pick this head bone to be the parent, set parent to bone. So this case, when we post our character, this blinking uh, arrow will always follow. And I have make an update for it. On this object, you will see a constraint called children of. You can use that to assign it to your head bone and it will be the children of your head bone. And create a copy location on the one of the bone and set target to be like that. So we just create a constraint on this bone. Okay, so create a copy location and target. So just pick this and use this as tips like this. Okay, and then we copy location. So now let's create a copy location on the other bone to copy the location of this so let's co copy this so we copy the location of only the z okay so let's set this to be local okay so now we basically finished the setup try to play the timeline let's see if we say this correctly you can see now the character is blinking let's see. go over here the final step like a detail setup you can see using this to set open and close so now is zero is like a open and if you set it to be like one will be close but now if you see it's not totally close so the close value is over here so you can make it like a bigger so it's totally close this is the value for close and this is the value for open so if i go back to open you can see if you wanted to open like a wider you just set set it like that or you want to open like uh, not too much you can set it like this now it should be blinked fine so now it's blinking and we have other setup we can tweak for our character so let's make the timeline like a longer so it will not repeat we can control the blink speed so the blink will be like very fast you just want it to be like slower just be slower every time it blink Okay, so let's go to the point five, and uh, let's try to control the blink gap. So if I go to lower, much more possibility to blink, and oh, the noise is like uh, it will not blink in the same frequency. Sometimes it will blink like uh, twice in a row, more natural and more realistic. Yeah, and uh, so that is the bling gap and gap noise and also you can have like an open noise so like the eyes will kind of like moving like a moving like a wider and uh, this is like a loop range so of course like right now it's like a kind of like a totally procedural so you kind of like a not really sure when it will blink or but uh, you can use this like loop wrench to control the like in your timeline if you find like certain wrench it behave more properly you can use this like a uh, wrench to control maybe i feel uh from 1000 to 1300 it will loop in that range and if you don't want it to be loop you can just like uh, give this to like a zero and this like a very high number so it will kind of like go to the infinite now let's set up the eye motion okay? and let's bring also bring it to in front of the face
okay and uh, let's put this object in front of the face so in front of the face and set the head bone as the parent so like before we just set the head bone as the parent so we select on this and uh, go to post mode okay and uh, set this as the parent let's move our head make sure it is follow that okay and um, create a copy location on the uh, eyeball control bone so the eyeball control bone is this one in the post mode if we drag this the eyeball will come move so let's put a constraint on this one so a constraint a copy location pick this object this one to the look at set the track to on this object okay create a constraint on on this object it's already there and uh, just set the okay set the uh, this one go ahead now we finish the setup of this so let's try to play the timeline okay now let's take a look at uh, this one so the power is like a basic range from zero to one this range make it bigger you can make it like uh, wider you can make the speed 0.1 so the shaking you can see this point is the the shaking you can see the eyeball is kind of like a, have this kind of realistic random movement you can also follow a curve bigger movement now it's like a circle and uh, can give some noise and also you can arrange the noise okay and maybe some animation also you can use like a input curve and you can use this curve as the object so in this case the term of this noise yeah so you will move on this curve You see the eye movement it's you can also come in here okay come into the geometry node so you can control this if you control this east you will see it is not longer like a jump between point to point to point kind of like a clock it's kind of like a smooth and if i go to like zero it will be moving like naturally how eyes will move because the eyes usually don't move like so smooth. They usually like look one point and to the other point like very suddenly. And also you can make it follow any object. So turn off the follow curve and to this object. It's that easy. So now you can always look at the Susan but also have some kind of like uh, eye shaking so you will not like uh, stare one object like deadly like a um, robot okay now let's take a look if you are not using human generator you're using different kind of systems how we set up that that is in the desk in the desk it also work take a look at that in human generator the movement is by Z rotation, right? But uh, in the desk, the movement is by rotation, not by the location. So the setup will be a little bit different. And, and also it is controlled by three different bones. So let's see how, how we set up that. After you download that, you will see this instruction. You got the branch from these two steps. If your eyelid is controlled by rotation, such as desk post mode and find the middle bone that is the main one instead of the copy location you created this damped track set the uh, this blinking object as your target and vertex set to tips and set the y let's say this set the 
track axis to Y. Create the copy rotation on the other bone, the other two bone. Just using copy location to copy this middle main eyelid bone. Okay, and for the other side, same as the other two bone next to the main bone. We just want to copy the rotation of the, the bone that we have already controlled. You can just uh, using copy. After you create one, you, you can select them. Just uh, like copy, copy to select. So in that case, it's quite realistic. This is the eye control bone for the desk. So just do the same thing as the human generator. This is not so different for the look point. These tools available on my Patreon and my Gumroad that you can download to take a look at that.